today we are to discuss the life and legacy of Patan Tata, an influential figure in Indian business and philanthropy who recently passed away on October 9, 2024. Let's dive into his incredible journey and explore what we can learn from him. Please introduce yourself. I am Ambedal Swanlan. I am G. Karan Yashri. I am Emma Kshira. I am S. Dashama. I am S. Agnes Berlin. I am S. Sharushri. I am P. Mohammed Ishaq. I am M. Sujay. So how did us like him, Sharu? What personal struggles did he face and how did those shape his character? Rata Tata faced significant challenges in his life, including the loss of his family members and mentors. These experiences fostered a sense of compassion in him and he focused on creating a nurturing work environment. He often spoke about the resilience and the importance of building strong teams. How should we remember Ratan Tata after his passing? We should remember him as a visionary leader who genuinely cared about his country and its people. His focus on ethical leadership and philanthropy should inspire all of us to strive into a positive change in our communities. Akshara, what can the younger generation can learn from his journey? I think we can learn that integrity and social responsibility are vital in business. Ratan Tata's story teaches us that success is not just about making money. It is also about making difference in people's lives. Sujay, so, how can we carry forward values in our daily lives? Yes, we can be more aware of our actions and the impact on others. Volunteering, supporting local initiatives and making sustainable choices are the all ways that can employ the values he stood for. Ratan Tata used his anger to achieve his career. When he was about to sell his company to Henry Ford, he refused it. When Henry Ford sold his company, Ford Company, and adding including Jaguar and Land Rover to Ratan Tata. That's a great point. Agnes, how can Ratan Tata's approach to leadership continues, continue influencing the future generation? had a transformative impact in the Tata Group. During his leadership from 1991 to 2012, he oversaw significant expansions such as the Jaguar Land Rover and Chorus Jeep. This added Tata as a major player in the global stage. Those were monumental achievements. Dashina, what challenges did he encounter when making those bold decisions? He faced the capism and distance from within and outside the company when he doubled his vision for the global expansion, especially since Tata had a long-standing reputation as a traditional company. Balancing the innovation with the company growth was a main challenge for him, but he navigated with the great skill. First, let's look at Tata Tata's early life. Akshara, can you share some detail about his childhood and education? Sure, Ratan Tata was born into a wealthy family on December 20, 1937. His early life was marked by his parents' separation, which was tough for him. Raised by his grandmother, he faced several challenges which helped him to shape his character. He studied at the prestigious Cornell University and later attended Harvard Business School, which influenced his approach to business. That's a great background. Shujay, how do you think his early experience influenced his Business philosophy. His upbringing in starts is a strong sense of empathy in him. Ratan Tata believed that business is not only profitable but also socially responsible. He often spoke about the ethics in business and his mindset guided his throughout their career. Let's talk about his long term effects. Isha, how did Ratan Tata approach giving back to the society? Ratan Tata was deeply committed to philanthropy. He significantly increased the contribution of Tata Trust areas in education, healthcare, rural development, and arts and culture. His belief was that the business should only contribution of in public upliftment and led initiatives that aim to sustain development. Karunya, how has his legacy influenced the future generation and young entrepreneurs? You know, Ratan Tata serves as a role model for many aspiring leaders. He demonstrated that success can go hand in hand with ethics and social responsibility. His legacy encourages young entrepreneurs to think about the broader impact of their business on society. Absolutely. Moving on to his career, Agnes, what are some of the key achievements during his time at Tata Group? Ratan Tata made a transformative impact in the Tata Group. During his leadership from 1991 to 2012, he oversaw significant expansions. Also, leadership style promotes innovation 
and teamwork. Why can believe in empowering his employees, which is crucial for fostering teamwork and creativity? Darshana, in second that I will give us one piece of advice. What do you think it would be? I believe you would emphasize the importance of safe to the values, no matter the challenge you face. He often highlighted the integrity and the hard work. He would like the people to encourage us and remain committed to the positive impact. Now, let's talk about his impact on society. Ishak, how did Datta Tata change perceptions of Indian business globally? Datta Tata's leadership helped to elevate the image of Indian business on the world stage. The acquisition and global venture helped show that Indian companies could compete internationally. What two of his acquisition, uh, American tea company Tetley was acquired by Ratan Tata as Tata Tea. In 2006, it gained a, uh, it gained a profit as 30% stake of American water from energy brand incorporation for $7.6 million and sold it to Coca-Cola for $1.2 million. He brought respect for our Indian entrepreneurship through ethical practices. That's a great point, Karmia. How can we ensure that his approach to leadership influences the future generation? We can advocate for ethical business practices in our communities and support companies that prioritize social responsibilities. Education plays a key role too. Teaching young people about the importance of integrity in business can make a big difference. Absolutely. In light of the recent passing, how can we correctly honor Ratan Tata? We can honor him by promoting community service and supporting initiatives that align with his values. We can also organize events, discussions or projects on social impact. This can keep his legacy alive. That's a fantastic idea. There is what specific initiatives do you think could embody his legacy? We could start mentorship programs focusing on ethical business practices. Additionally, community service projects based on health and education could embody his commitment in this uplifting society. Thank you all for your thoughtful insights today. Ratan Tata's legacy reminds us of the importance of ethical leadership and giving back. Let's strive this in our daily life. Thank you all for your participating in this discussion. Thank, Thank you. you.